Greetings. It is my honor to welcome you to the USA Pavilion at Expo 2020 Dubai. This pavilion is a celebration of what I call American aspiration. In the United States of America, we not only dream, we take pride in what we do. We not only see what has been, we take pride in seeing what can be. So here you will have the opportunity to learn about American innovators past and present and to explore what is to come, the power of quantum computing. As we enjoy great advantages from the invention of others, we should be glad of an opportunity to serve others by any invention of ours. And this, we should do freely and generously. We continue to chart new courses to make the impossible possible as we strive to create a more perfect union. Join us in exploring the impact of freedom and innovation as we embark on a journey into life, liberty, and the pursuit of the future. The dawn of a new nation brought the promise of great freedom. Freedom to dream, explore, inspire, and chart the course for a better life and a brighter future. This year, American Thought, Scientists, and Venture and Diplomat Process has raised into a great advantage from the invention of others. We should be glad of the opportunity to serve others and individual and things we should be free and generous. of the modern world, bridging distances that had once kept us separated. At the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, Nikola Tesla illuminated the world as audiences witnessed a new technology, the alternating current, another American invention that now electrifies our world. Modern mobility arrived when the Ford Motor Company revealed the Model T assembly line. The car was now within reach for many bringing the world closer to their home. Mobility was dramatically expanded by the emergence of the jet age. Air travel changed our perspective of the world below as it became more affordable, resulting in a world in which we more readily impacted one another. Thank you. 
15 generations of scientists, and a massive national ignition facility, funded by the U.S. Department of Energy, and located at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, decades of research and experimentation continue to find the path to create numbers, clean, sustainable energy by bringing star power to Earth. The facility conducts inertial confinement fusion experiments using 192 powerful lasers to compress a target no bigger than a peppercorn filled with hydrogen isotopes. The combined heat generated can reach 55 million degrees Celsius. The United States has been exploring the market. 
solar powered so it kept being recharged by the sun and as you can see on the front this rover came with a drill that could go beneath the surface of Mars and analyze what was under the surface. This is the rover that found evidence for water on Mars in 2018 sadly it was buried by a sandstorm so it no longer works but we have a new one the Perseverance rover. This rover was sent to Mars last year it just hit its one year anniversary so happy anniversary Perseverance thank you we love you awesome. Perseverance is powered by a nuclear generator and is about the size of an SUV, so it's much larger and has a drone that can fly around and take photographs. Very exciting. Talking about flying around to Mars, we have the Falcon 9 rocket right outside. You can go out down the ramp, you'll be able to see as you walk past. The Falcon 9 rocket is one of the first rockets that can be launched into space and reused. So it's not only more cost effective, but it's also more sustainable so that space exploration can continue. If you would like to... 